Ladies and gentlemen, once again it is the Mason and French show featuring that dude called Savage, a.k.a. the Bad Silver Savage. Oh yeah, we here. As well as that dude called Chew, a.k.a. El Juparino. Uh, Big Scoop Boogie. Nope. As well as... I don't know if that was a name or not. Big good. Mike, a.k.a. The Taker of Things Too Far. Yeah. This is a TV show. Yes. Me... Is it? Is this the joint with the truck? No, it is All not right. the truck show. Me, I am Mason. Welcome to the Mason and Friends show. What's happening, y'all? This what is, is this? like an show. 80s Fuck. TV buddy Fuck. cop show. Two so cops. It's not chips. No. It's not chips. No. It definitely ain't chips. No. It's not one that most people have heard of. It's one that I watched as a child on it's like not Walker. Get smart. No, it's eighties. Yeah, it's definitely eighties. It's so eighties. It's got people in it. I don't even know their names, but I've seen them in other things. But just the one guy. You know, I couldn't even tell you who it is. I like that beat though. I tell yeah, you, it's dope. It slams. They had this is the outro, you know, they got the minute intro, and then this is the 30 second uh-huh. outro at the end can, of the show. Can we find that to spit on that? Why can't you just spit on this right here? You know what I mean? Yeah, I got that's you. It. That's one minute long. That's, that's <laughs> all right. Hey, put that on. Put that on the save. Then put that in right on all right, the save. It's in there. We got we you. Run that right into the Mary J. Blige. All right. So what's the show though? <laughs> the show is called Simon and Simon. Okay, I've heard of them but never seen them. Got yeah, you, it was a couple you. of brothers that are uh, like. Uh, Detectives or private eyes or something yeah, like sounds, that. Yeah. Shout out to the Puerto Ricans that's still holding it down from the hurricane. Shout out to the Floridians that's uh-huh, holding it down. Uh-huh. And shout out to Coolio. All right, Peter. Yeah. Coolio. Shout out to Coolio, Coolio, bro. Sadly, the only buddy knows one, one or two songs of you, bro. That's, that's you know what's fucked up. Village and fucking Dangerous Minds. The, the reason that Coolio has such a lackluster catalog is the reason why today's playlist is all pastime paradise versions that other people have done of the Stevie Wonder song. Gotcha. And at the end of the episode, <clears throat> excuse me, at the end of the episode is the Coolio song. There you go, there you go, there you go. Because there's a whole lot of different flavors going on here on this. And, you know, it's funny to me, did you see that Coolio died on the 46th anniversary of this song coming uh-huh. out? Uh-huh. Yeah, oh, wow. saw that, yeah. yeah. It was yeah. heart failure or some shit, right? Heart attack? I well, guess. They, they, they're oh, still no. not sure what happened. They he just, might have demexed it. Malumina. Nobody knows no he, he, uh, was he on? Was he on the cocaine? He, he could have been. Probably. He could have been, been, been back in the day. I don't think so, so much. I think he was a weed smoker. I don't even know if he was so much a weed smoker, no, I'm really, man. i sure he was a weed smoker. I think I would, But not nothing like... Nah, no, not he like, was... I mean, he was like a drink or weed smoker, but it wasn't like party, party, party. Yeah, I think he was just like normal. Like, he ain't really a, a over excess. You know, like Snoop Dogg is, is excessive smoker, sure. theoretically, you sure. know what I'm screaming? The, yeah. But I don't yeah. think Coolio... He's not on Cush Mountain. I don't know. No, no. no. Coolio never had He's no not on song Mount where he was no. drinking or smoking or anything like that, right? At any of his songs? Um, Even on Fantastic Voyage? I feel like Fantastic Voyage, he could have been smoking, but I don't think if it was... If anything, he was smoking a dangerous mind. It wasn't like a, a part of it. No, yeah, 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 that wasn't like it wasn't his. a part of his persona. No, no. If he smoked weed, he smoked weed, but he didn't. Like Devin, he's a smoker. He know? wasn't yeah, like, yeah, yeah, he, wasn't know, like Devin he wasn't a guy that would have had like weed like on the you cover. Would, you can't really associate his name with weed. Mm-mm. You know what I mean? Right. Like Red Man, Method Man. Right. They Mount burn. Cushmore. Yeah. 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 People, Red Mount Man, Cushmore, Method yeah. Man, Dude. Snoop Dogg, Be Real, yeah. Mount Cushmore. Yeah. You know, then there's Devins and Wiz Khalifas and other motherfuckers. Cypress Hill. Yeah. You know. Yeah, man. Shit like that. With, with Coolio, though, I mean, he was all right. Like, some of that shit was gimmicky, but, was he like, any, it worked. And he didn't do any movies? Yeah, he did yeah. a couple movies. Yeah, he was in a couple joints. But, but he, was, he wasn't, like, serious He wasn't, like, it. a um, well, never, never main character. character. It was, like, as Coolio. You know what I mean? Yeah. In the movie, like, he came in as himself. It wasn't, he like, did he the hook for uh, Keenan and Kel. He, he would be the guy yeah. that sold Keenan and Kel, like, a kilo well, of what's, cocaine. Yeah. Yeah. What's, what's Sinbad? Sinbad's still alive? Yeah, Sinbad's yeah. alive, man. The comedian? Yeah. Yeah, the big He was on a different world. Yeah. He was the uh, dorm director. Yeah, he's a he's a comedian, and, and he still done. does his thing. He does his thing. Yeah, he, his last joint, his uh, his last stand up was actually good. I like that shit. We had a movie on the show or something. Right? Oh, he had 
He had a couple movies, and then he had his own like late night, like kind of like Arsenio. Yo, yeah, and I forgot Ar- about Arsenio. that late night show. The Sinbad oh, show. Yeah. show. Oh, yeah, the Sinbad, Sinbad, Sinbad show. Sinbad show. Because there's one I just saw on YouTube not too long ago. I think Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson were on there. Yeah, they were talking. Yeah. Talking to Sinbad. Yeah, That'd and be Sinbad, cool, of course, man. he just trying to stir shit up. You know what I mean? Between well, them, right. <laughs> he's trying to get him to fight. Yeah, no, he, just, he he asked he asked Tyson, you know, if you was in your prime, Ali was in his prime. Yeah, who like, would who win? win? Tyson straight up was like, "There's no way I'm touching." That man, mm-hmm. ain't no way yeah, he's the greatest. No way. I probably got about what two feet. There's no way I but could contend then, with like, him. He had me by see, forty pounds and and seven inch reach. Muhammad Ali no would have tired him out just yeah. like Buster Douglas did. He would have got him and punched him out. But Buster out Douglas yeah. got knocked out. They just didn't count right. Yeah. So that don't even really count. Yeah, but he would have tired him out. But still, that reach he got, like I said, he got. Oh, he's so much bigger. The speed, yeah, so much but bigger. and the power that Tyson had, speed and but power. But he could wise. take. He could hit that motherfucker a couple times if he could get in there. If he get in his prime. I'm Muhammad saying 22 year old, two year old Mike, 22 year old Mike Tyson, doing fucking shots to the ribs repeatedly yeah. on Ali. He's yeah. not. He's not. He's breaking that man. He's down. breaking him down. Yeah. But like, he's if, slowing him down. Like, because that. that's the thing, right? Ali could like, like, lean not, into the ropes and take a bunch Ali of punishment cover up, and then come, come back. Good, but you uh, can't stop that. Tyson's gonna no. break an elbow. Right. right. Gonna Tyson's, he's gonna go through. He's gonna go through. Tyson's shit. like Drago. Yeah, right? yeah. When Tyson hits that shit, it's like I break him. I break I machine. Break, I when break. I punch machine, I break machine. Whole body shudders. P S I now. The real question is, oh, yeah, as we yeah. move into a smoother, softer version uh-huh. of Paradise, whatever that song was, uh, Pastime Paradise, we have to smooth things out, slow it down today for uh, a little Here MPR, a, a little special moment, Mason yeah. Public Radio, a little MPR for you. We get a little intimate. Brought to you by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Yeah. As well as viewers like you. It might just be Bill because Melinda ain't there. No, no Galinda runs the show because Bill was fucking uh, underage. Galinda? <laughs> or underage. <laughs> Yeah, remember you couldn't yeah, say yeah, G- I, Melinda, it's, it's, so you yeah. were saying Galinda one time. Yeah, that's what I was telling you, Trevor. I was thinking Melinda, Galinda, but I was texting. I'm like, I'm just, I'm driving. I'm just keeping that Melinda, bro. Yeah, Melinda Gates uh, <laughs> left because uh, Bill was fucking yeah, bitch. underage bitches. How on, much money uh, did Bill have? Uh, a lot, too most. damn much. Oh, then that's one she took that's a lot of money. She took a lot of money. He, he, she, no, look, look, it's look, because she knew he was fucking them hoes or them kids or them whatever. She just wanted to get her half at his peak. All right, so is that what you think it was? Oh, that's all. Well, anyway, anyway, though, Anyways. anyway, what, regardless of what Bill and Melinda Gates have been up to, thank you for the support here uh-huh. at Mason Public Radio. We appreciate y'all. We do appreciate you guys coming through for us. But uh, don't forget, viewers like you, and you, and you, can help support the show. Mason Public Radio is a subsidiary of Imperfect Informa- uh, Entertainment, where. I run all sorts of crazy things. The porno business hasn't started yet, but anyway. Yeah, before this next song, Mason, for the song changes. Mason, right? Mason Public Radio. Um, today, Mister Unit, you sent a text that was a little bit concerning. We, yeah, we need to. We, we need, need to get fill in. What's we going need to on? Delve in. You wrote that My you life. wanted to discuss <laughs> the Jew Unit and his hose, real well, and not. Yes. See, you my have life real is like hose a, and you have not like real hose. My life is like an Adam Sandler movie. Okay. But just not written by Adam Sandler, so you know, there's no happy ending. But all the shit in between is all real life. <laughs> it all happens. All right, all right. If y'all, all right, those of y'all know about my second ex-wife. Oh. If you don't know about her, you don't know about her. Yeah, cool okay. We got if you don't about yeah, her, you've been listening long enough. Appreciate y'all staying with me, brother. <laughs> but all right, <laughs> <laughs> she's real. I've seen yeah, her. Yeah, she's real. You've seen her. But uh, I've seen I, her too. I've, I've seen her. Yeah, yes, yes. a lot of people. A lot of other people. Yeah, yes, a lot of other people, yes, have, people yes. have seen, have spoke with her. Uh-huh. You know, she she is present, right? So I think she was really nice. So for some reason, cool. for some reason, if this and, is the girl that I'm thinking of, for some reason in my life, but you know, it, if you she'll know, she'll come across be. my You're mind. You're thinking of somebody else. I probably am. You probably are. I'm thinking of somebody else. This girl will come across my mind, right? So I'll shoot a little text, right? And this is. No, no. She's probably okay. already got one. She's already seen yeah, it. Of course she did. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Do, you, do you send her, hey, you know, my dick still look the same nah, as it did? <laughs> you wanna... Or, 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 or I, I remember never, this? I never yeah, dick, yeah. I never dick picked exactly. her. Exactly. You never dick picked her? What? Did she get her own oh, dick pic? Really did she take shit. a picture of it in her own hand? <laughs> I, I uh, unless I was, not while I was awake, all right? 
<laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know what happens when I'm sleeping. You okay. know, right, to each his own. So, so you, you randomly. <laughs> so, so I'll reach out to her, or she'll reach out to me. But then I'll run into that motherfucker the same motherfucking day. Okay. Like, so you text her randomly, and then you bump into her. <laughs> but and so she leaves you on red you or doesn't and respond. You oh, it's always on red and never responds. She it's never always responds. on red and never responds. We ain't got to worry about that. <laughs> Patrick Swayze always gets hold of text messages. We don't got to worry about that. Everything's always on red. All right. Or it's the bubbles. It's just still bubbling. Like, like she's you're texting she O. You say. started with O, but you... You for, you put the phone down and forgot you was texting me. Right. Right. <laughs> like she went to respond yeah. and then yeah. she decided so was not like, to. Yeah. All right, whatever. But I don't know why. I I feel in life, every everything and everyone has a purpose in and out of one's life. Yes, whether it be for is. a lesson or whether it be to fucking lesson learn something lessons. or be turned some or blessing or just to get schooled on some shit. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, everything uh, happens well. for a reason. Uh huh. That's true. But that one I can't really figure it out. Like, it's a lot of some dumbass, white, superstitious ass shit. Like, the other day, me and Jay was out there talking about a fire. And I mentioned her name, a shooting star came flying right over, motherfucker, right, right over. there. So, like, white people would so freak the fuck out. You, <laughs> you are oh, white people. They, say, yes, you are I freaking out. But I don't know, because I'm That's like... That's what's going on here. Because I'm just sitting there, I'm like, nah, that ain't really. Hopeless I'm just, romantic. I'm see, sitting there, I was like, Jay, that was a shooting star right there. He's just, looking you know, at... No, no, no. What you're asking no, us... No, don't you remember... Sense, I think you're asking us, and I'm reading between the lines on this part here, is you're saying, is the universe talking to you? No, because I was, of the two statements you just made right here, you said that <laughs> when you think about her once in a while, you text her, or she texts you, and then you see each other. I just, then you said you was talking about the fire, chilling, and a shooting star go by. Yeah, but then then the la- the last recent shit. This is this is the this is the real shit right here. I hit her up last not too long ago, right? <laughs> and I up. and I ain't see nothing. Driving home, same day on 66, way out fuck Fairfax, some motherfucker where. Shoo! There she no, goes. Wasn't. Caught up. Cheesing like a motherfucker. Red, redder than the sun, you know what I mean? When I laid eyes on her. And then just screw. And then gone. Back in the cloud again, you this know is, what I mean? This is you. So, the universe. This is you. So, but I, my question, kind of like, I don't know. It's not so much a question, but. Well, I guess it is a question. What? <laughs> in my, it's a question in my mind to try to figure out, to, I guess to myself, to figure out what the actual purpose is and what the meaning of it. Because all of it in on her her output in to me, towards me is nothing. You know what I mean? There's no output. There's no, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. no nothing. There's no give a fuck. There's no anything. So it's like, what's the but, purpose of this damn near person just to show up but then not show up? <laughs> oh, shit. God damn it. I just... Gio. Okay, so you so, try to figure out an answer here. But it is like the universe talking. Right? It is. It's got to be. I mean. <laughs> That's so, you, too. So wait, 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 Somewhere wait. out there, man. Yeah. You, uh, it, it might be, you know what, because. See, right. she's singing back at him. Maybe even over the, the rainbow. We the don't know. way <laughs> your third eye works, your consciousness works is, and your subconscious works is, you can manifest things to sort of happen or come to. <laughs> so you're just trying to get a response back. Yeah, in a sense, you're, I'm you're, trying you're, to you're, live. I, I'm, at this point, I'm living my life because I know she don't want to do this motherfucker. I'm just trying I to get, get past it. Why listen. does this yeah, little June bug, like Demex say, you let the goddamn bird? Fucking left free if that motherfucker come back. You you but got some problems. She, she ain't she's really coming back. She ain't come back, but she popping right. up like what up? Because your subconscious ain't let go of her yet. I, but, <laughs> it's a sad thing, man. You gotta let go, bro. Your subconscious has you not gotta, let like, go of her. You gotta allow yourself because inside one, your heart to let go. Inside my about. heart, inside my brain, and my mind, I've no, I, I've let that one go because I know that no, one your is. I'm not, I'm not, nah, because I know that. That's she don't want nothing to do with my I know that, but your subconscious hasn't let go because you was head over heels. If I'm thinking this is the one where you came to the bar, threw the keys across the joint, acted a fool. What? That <laughs> night, when you, came, you came to a bar because you was pissed off because that was the night y'all broke up and you threw the keys across the motherfucking bar. You hopped up on the bar, plugged your shit in at, at uh, what was it, Northside? 
And you was acting a fool out there because you met me, Ken, and Biggie out that motherfucker. On the scooter. On, I've heard this. Yeah. Then yeah. you got drunk and got on the scooter to go home. <laughs> and Biggie followed you home to make sure you made it because yeah. he was worried about it. Yeah, you. because you came up in that motherfucker going off because when you threw your keys, they skidded across the bar, flew off the bar, and went underneath a table where this couple was having a perfect night until you got there. This is you uh, rode a scooter. Uh, hold on. You rode a scooter drunk in the from snow here. And Biggie followed. He rode it from well. here. No, from here. From here to. From here. North side, North side. and then he rode the scooter back. Which drunk. way did you take? All of them. Twenty nine. <laughs> <laughs> All of them. I mean, no, but I was just okay. But this is the crazy. Never in good about. weather either. Never I good weather. You. It was because always sleeting or snowing or yeah, fucking mist, snow and shit. It, but this is inside you your heart. You hear this? That's somewhere, yeah. somewhere deep down there, tucked behind your subconscious is singing this song. <laughs> It's love, light, and flight. That's right. Man, this is that, your heart. She singing. is that one. She, she, you, you know what I'm talking about. I know exactly who you're talking about. But I don't remember like, nothing about that. I don't remember nothing about that. Because you was fucked up. I that remember night. that evening, but yeah, I don't remember the yeah. purpose of that evening. I don't well, remember you were set off. Of the evening, but you were set the fuck off <laughs> by a girl that you loved telling uh-huh. you to go fuck yourself. Because he was, uh, he was set. You were set. She's a beautiful woman, though. Yeah. yeah, but that don't matter. It does. The Jews in love with her, and she tells him to fuck off. It doesn't matter how whatever she is, man. I'm not man. so much in love with her. I always will have That's love for her because I feel like that was one of them three. I that was know. one of them three good ones you that got led away. You know what I mean? Sonny. On this show, if fucking you said, man, I I can repeat this verbatim. It's been said on this show. Motherfuckers, go back and check the receipts on this shit. You said, man, if you ever saw her get, you'd be like, bitch, I'm still married. I yeah. See, look, yeah. you know it. You know I'm fucking dead. See, he, he knows I'm fucking right. I know it's a, He's yeah, like, man, I, know I couldn't, exactly turn, her down. I couldn't turn her ass down, eh? Yeah. Well, I don't remember me throwing the keys across the uh, table. See, yeah, so I know exactly we know exactly <laughs> what you're talking you about. You on the same page here now, I know, I know what you're talking about. It don't take yeah. much to mm. figure this one out. And yeah, that's so glad we don't have to use names. Nah, because I know this one. Cause this motherfucker boy was all that that was him all day. This so, motherfucker was butterflies and rainbows and unicorns. That's what I said. Like, Somewhere over the rainbow. Like, Once that day hit, man, all hell broke loose that day. For no reason, just he just he couldn't take the breakup. The breakup hurt. But that's what see you because stuff. does everything he heart, enjoys man. though. The Jew unit. That's why. Yeah. The Jew unit match, love. Man, that's that's like, the only that one that does that. everything he exactly. enjoys. Exactly. It was mirror mirror. They was yeah. on point. They was on the same. That's page. why they don't get along. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's really why y'all can't y'all y'all exist. Y'all are really opposites. Y'all are like two positives coming at each other. Hmm. That's what I'm saying. That's why you can't pushing each other away because yeah. it's positive. Big house, yeah. put a that's wall in the middle of it, man. Fuck. Man, y'all still gonna not be able to coexist. <laughs> man. We need to buy some duplex. Like, see, man, man, if wow. I had a duplex Hold and on, she could live in right? one side and I could live in the other, that's the world could be amazing. You still have shit. You still have that deep love in there. There's deep love. And honestly, I have one. Yeah, because I see myself sitting lakeside beside her. Ass fucking chilling, exactly. hanging the business. Yeah. So that means you we didn't let do. go. That you didn't let go yet. I, I mean, I, I got my one. I, I see it, but I know it ain't. It, I know it ain't gonna happen. That's just like me seeing I hit the lottery. You know what I mean? The eyes of that. No, 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 that's different. I don't play it. Because you never hit the lottery. Yeah. Well, no, that's what's that's great. You you're that. not going to find another girl to be into if you don't look for another girl to be into. If you just sit there and dwell on the fact that it's like this that. one got away and that you feel like when you're looking at the stars, maybe she's out there somewhere <laughs> looking at the looking same at the star. Yeah. Yeah. That's there what, you go. Oh, that's wow, what, what the problem is. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you are. Yeah, you are. That is yeah, you. That's why I'm playing this song over and but over. But see, your subconscious is lining shit up for you, but it ain't really lining shit up for her. It's just lining up shit for you <laughs> exactly. so you can get like a glimpse. You sit there and you think Man. about her so much that and you only happens. notice her one in every ten times that you cross paths you're with her. You're manifesting And then, then you think you're manifesting it, but it's really just a fucking shit <laughs> happens, see, dude. See, you're tripping. See, you know, we're oh, tripping. We tripping. Because, because I don't help. think about you're it the one that the you we're wanted the NPR. Yeah, but y'all, 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 y'all are getting on some shit now. Because I don't think about that bitch all the time. All, yeah, all day, no, all day, no, all the no. time. Me too. That's I'm telling you, you, there's a difference between the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. It's two different things right now. You got your conscious mind. That's the one that's one that's talking to you. You're constantly dealing with your inner voice. That's all day long. When you sleep and you have dreams and shit like that, that's your subconscious still working. Your subconscious is going to work all day long. Yeah, but long. you don't remember your subconscious all the time. Exactly. So you're, you yeah. might be dreaming about this girl over and over. I, Fuck, no, I don't, there's I, girls I, I might dream about that I'm not sure I'm I, dreaming I, about. He's, he's had, like, encounters. I yeah, just have encounters. I don't dream about her. 
Mm-hmm. I just, I just see, I just, That's I just send her a text and that, I see her. That, that, that is in the middle of nowhere. You text every time you see her. Hey, girl, I, I seen said, you. Like I said, no, I messaged her. Yeah. So okay. I messaged her and then he, he I run into her before. Hold on. And then so just happens to run into her later on. How does the is like, hey, what's up? How you doing? Yeah. Okay, just a real. And then he just happens to run into her later on that evening. Just what's up? What are you doing? That's so that's weird. that manifestation. That's your subconscious. The universe works in weird ways where your mind. That's what I'm trying to say. What's the, universe, what's the purpose of that? And, and my and what's the that, purpose of that? So in the universe? You need to resolve whatever it is that's in here. That's right. And, and that's why you're subconsciously issues. stalking her, and you don't even know it. No, but that's what I'm gonna say. What I was gonna really say. Sometimes they send it to you to torture your ass. So you know to stay away. And that's not just your situation. That's any situation. You mean like the world? Like the universe? Yeah. Like the we'll send stuff at you to keep tor- to, to it's give you a reason you. to let go. But no, it's reminding you. why you should. Don't forget, there's a chance you could love you, but that bitch right there ain't it's the one. It's not really no, her. She She's yeah. just reminding you that. of the I feeling. Realize. She's reminding you of your ability to potentially love that the feeling. The last exactly. time I run into oh, her, she, you know, she, tried, she said, I don't remember any of it. And I said, well, shit, that's anything I was feeling was nothing. No, that's because it was special. To you, but it wasn't okay, special to her. There was torture. That's probably what hit me. Your response that, right there. Did you hear him? No, that's say it again. He said that fucking she told him that I don't remember any of it. He's like, well, that's cool because I, I don't remember any shit like that anyway, whatever. No, that's what she told me. She don't remember any of it. Yeah. So I'm thinking that none of it was none of it so was real any fucking way. That. Anyway. That so was the that, lesson. Uh, that's your subconscious being like, damn. That was the lesson. You you said that to the right, well, that's yourself. Le- yeah, like, your, right, your so, all right, so here's the bad part about it because I put out 100%. So if the lesson says put out 100% and you are going to run your dick in your dirt again, then what was the no, purpose? The so now I'm just dog no, here's the purpose. Now I got to just dog bitches no, because the, the universe tells no, me just no, go no, on start dog no, 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 bitches. No, 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 the purpose is well, it don't tell me be good no, and shit. The purpose is you come for that motherfucker. She gonna fucking shit right on you. Look at the purpose is you come correct. But that's because you were hurt. You didn't you didn't mend back after you was hurt that deep. And you're wanting to hurt other people now, which is stupid. How you're like I'm just gonna have to dog all these bitches. Well, that's what you want. Let me do it. I'm a universe. Tell me, don't say no fear. Sanchez, that's, that's you and shit. I don't give a fuck. Oh, that, be like, I'm saying, dude, like, what kind of nasty, nasty <laughs> kind of dirtbag right shittery there. are you that's, talking about doing to these women? Like, like the point is, like, bring, bring your A game every time, man. Whether they're worth the shit or not. Well, that's like, what I treat do. Treat them like they are. That's what I do. And when they prove themselves to not be worth the shit, then you're like, all right. You Deuces. understand how to handle yeah. it. Because then you're like, the one making the call. Exactly. Because you're the one that's consistently treating these stupid fucking bitches like they're not fucking stupid fucking bitches. <laughs> because that's the only way to figure out if any of them actually are not stupid fucking bitches. Is to talk to them like they're not. And then when they prove themselves to be stupid bitches, then you got to be like, all right, fuck it. I'm good. This bitch is stupid, and I don't want nothing to do with stupid ass bitches. Yeah, I, t- I don't, I don't hold, I don't. You try though, I give you that though. Bro. I don't hold nothing back. I let them know what the business is. Like there, inside there, looking, there's, inside there, there, like there's that. There's a consistency I mean. that goes with depending on what you want though, because you can have the fling. You know what I mean? So I'm old, man. I'm, I'm no, old. Listen, I'm old, listen, mother. Listen, I ain't living much listen, longer. Motherfucker, that's what I'm trying to tell you, though, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> like, you can have those things where you just fucking, all right, that's cool. As long as y'all got that established. You can have the shit where you're in a relationship, but relationships over time, you get it to a point where it's, uh, uh, like, you're comfortable. So you yeah, gotta yeah, put in that yeah. work, you know. What I mean, I understand. You gotta keep it fresh you know, and new. You gotta try. You know, yeah, you gotta yeah. put in effort. And there sometimes, and that involves communication. You know, Definitely. I know this for a fact because of the shit that I've gone through. Can I just say real quick with the communication? Communication without comprehension is nothing. Exactly. You well, that's not be, real communication. You gotta. That's, be able that's to, what I'm. You, you know, gotta people don't listen. Like that. But that's our that. that's listen. our point of Jew with his limited vocabulary. Like your ability to communicate is limited. This is why Mike and I have encouraged you to read books for a long time because the greater your vocabulary is, the greater your ability to communicate is. Because you got to be able to go back and forth. What yeah. is what is it that she needs and what is it that you need, and then work on it and try to meet like a and a also compromise. and also compromise not and not there. being upset by whatever the conversation presents. That's Part of comprehension, I think, is the compromise. Yeah, uh-huh. and, and the emotional part of it. You yeah. can get you can get upset by a comment, and she can get upset by a comment. But you got to understand where the comment's coming and, from and why it's there. And, and then I just saw a meme that a quote that said like, "People listen to reply, not listening to understand why a person said what they said." Yeah. 
Like you're looking for the answer, not really. Okay, why did they say what they just said to me? Yeah, try to and understand again, that the person. You know, try to comprehend, what's, comprehend. what's being go. said to you more than thinking about what it is you're going to say yeah. back immediately. I'm gonna fire back because they like, stung me. You let know? them See, um, I shot think, fire. Shoot, I gotta shoot wait, back. What like, you just said right there, I think that's what got you. Is because. You were done greasy, uh-huh. and you felt that sting. So you get on the uh-huh. defense when somebody comes at you and says, "Hey, look, fuck this you. is what I need fuck from you." You, hey, you know, Kinda, what I mean? I that sense. I just been, bit? I've just, fuck I've just heard all sides you, of the perspective. At this point in time in my life, that I, I love, I love you, and then all of a sudden I don't love you no more. Yeah, it's gone. Uh, uh, well, that happens because you know, like, I, everything, everything. Love is you know, a flame, like, like, you. Like, you have know, to like, feed it. It's a fire. You must feed love, otherwise it goes out. You, the man that burns fires yeah, all the oxygen, goddamn yeah, time. Oxygen. Can you not comprehend like the the method, like the uh, the metaphorology? concept that's being put out there when they say that love is like a flame it's and you effort. have to feed it and you if gotta you, understand the difference between love and lust well yeah Ooh, yeah oh, you gotta got understand that difference, difference. Yep. because you can lust at somebody all day you can be like oh man that i bitch think is bad. that's what the first uh my first marriage was about lust truthfully <laughs> yeah because you was just getting ass not so much on not so much on uh my end <laughs> I mean, I did love her. Wait, 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 wait. I, I mean, I love the shit. I, I love the shit out of her, but she did take my virginity. That's probably the main reason why I love the shit out of her. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, she yeah. took your virginity. I thought she was fucking chicks in high school before he was that finger bitch. Fucking him. Wait a minute. Finger fucking popping. Yeah. Yeah, he was finger popping. Yeah. So she she stole that. She got that. So that's how she had me. But uh. Oh wow! Holy shit, bro! See, that is a definite issue right there. But I did everything for that motherfucker. I mean, I did everything because I was living. You know what I mean? But your camera from fucking Ferris Bueller. He's gonna marry the first chick he lays, and she's gonna treat him like dirt. Oh Mm -hmm. my god. That's exactly what. Happened. Oh hey, my God! I was God. today years old. But yeah, I did everything for that. For, I mean, her and my, you, you know, her and my fam. Together? You know what I mean? I put but, that together. And then, and then that whole situation got this shit right down in the dirt. You know what I mean? So I've seen all perspectives of. <laughs> Of, of treating right and not treating right, dogging and undogging and. But that's <laughs> bullshit. Man. Like There's that, eight man. million stories in the city, dog, and you got like seven. And you sit here like, man, I know all eight million stories. Like it's right, back in my head. Man, bro, I'd have seven. been there. Well, I mean, sometimes there is a difference between in, being in love and just loving somebody too. People don't want to talk about that. Yeah, because then you can fall out of love or always. fall back in love with a. When you got both, you, you got actually. magic. Yeah. When you can maintain both is when you got a successful relationship, healthy. But it also it takes it takes work. It takes yeah, it work. It takes, it work, takes sure. work. But I'm not saying that. But when you're in love with somebody and love that person, shit, everything's magic. Yeah, yeah. It's a little easier to work. Because there's women that I won't have shit. That I wouldn't even piss on if they were on fire. Yeah. But I still have love for them because they were cool people. It just didn't work. Like it wasn't enough damage to where I could be like, fuck them. You know what I mean? But yeah. it was enough to where it'll never work again. But I still have love. If they died today, I'd be, I wouldn't cry, maybe, but I'd be like, oh, damn. You know, we got good memory. You know, the good outweighed the bad at certain points. No. Nah, and then there's some that are dead to me. Like, I'd never, you know, be, I don't even want to see you no more. But I don't hold nothing against nobody. Well, it sounds like you do. No. What if I'm they're sa- dead to you. Yeah. Like, but they're technically alive? No, that means they're dead to me, so I don't they're, care one way or the other. It doesn't matter what happens in their life. That's what you I'm know, saying. Their shit, they're dead their to business. me, so there's no feeling. About yeah. There's no feeling. So if somebody goes, oh man, did you hear about such and such dying? Yeah, nah. But yeah, I'm not going to say, fuck yeah, finally. Yeah, 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 but I'm right. not going to be like, you know what I mean? <laughs> not oh have my a second God. thought about it. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. like, well, damn, that's tough. I pray for their kids. Yeah, yeah. You know, but I wouldn't be all bent out of shape or, you know, none of that. It's not being cold hearted, it's just how you gotta be. So let me ask you something, Mr. Unit. Oh. In your search of your next future possible wife, mm. are you looking for the characteristics that were in the second oh. future possible wife? I think Cameron might have blown a microchip or two. Um, not, not so much. <laughs> All I to do is so you look at just for a connection that works. Now you gotta understand when you find that connection that works, you gotta work with it. Oh well, yeah, I mean I got that concept. I just need to find something that's. <laughs> I'm looking for just something at this point in time, just something that's real. Well, see that's that's hard to come by because what's your definition of real? Uh-huh. They gotta give them that look. 
if they don't Wait, give him that look, he's can't like, "Can't you just know internet, bitch? Can't you just tell me you about one thing and then do some different?" Can we? You know? Well, can that's I, I think that's everybody. But that's part of like the continual communication over the course of like weeks, months, and years with people. Yeah. Like, what are you really about? Are you really full of shit? Or are you not full of shit? And that's what you're constantly in constant evaluation of with any individual that you're talking to with True. any kind of seriousness about True. How many maths do I have to work through to get to the I real I just can't person? trust nobody, really. That's where it's at. I'm at my life. My, my shit been fucked up so many times that I just... I, I can't well, trust them. How far man. out are you putting yourself? Like, you're, you're like, are you, like, professing your love for these bitches, like, within, like, weeks of meeting them? Because, I mean, you strike me as the kind of guy that <laughs> nah. might just do that. You know what nah, I mean? Nah, I'm not trying to get married nothing like that. I'm making good money right now. I ain't trying to do all that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just, trying, I'm just trying to keep it simple. I ain't trying I to blow this year. I got a 401 building, you know what I mean? Boat looking real nice. If I make it to 65, you know, I'm not. Goddamn, I'm just trying to find me a woman, but I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to marry nothing. So mm-hmm. wait, 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 maybe wait, when I'm 66, so when, wait, I, wait, wait, when hold, I get hold, my But you boat. know, women want to get married and shit, right? Some do, some don't. Some a lot do, of them some do. Don't. I'd rather domestic partnership. Because there's a lot of bullshit okay, involved. That's, 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 that's what like you that, want. You that's want that's domestic like that enti- That's like that title, man. You know what I mean? It's that, whole, that, that step up from being a, just fucking to a boyfriend-girlfriend shit. You know what I mean? And then that now we actual couple. And then now we married and shit. Some motherfuckers don't know how to just take that. Like, it, none, none changes. None Except changes from, from you being it, you like, being together fucking on Tuesday well, and then married on Wednesday. Not, none fucking committed, changes by Friday. Yeah. But you none committed changes. to a business relationship. But yeah. That's what it is. That's you're committed to the paper, right. you're putting a ring on the business. This is, this is a business yeah, relationship. Yeah, I would say that. Yeah. See, but, yeah, that's but what as the, far as your life and your everyday basis and shit, none of that changes from Wednesday from you're not married to Thursday or Friday when you are. But, but you're, you're going into business together. So like everything changes. So now you have to make the business work. You have to make sure it keeps going. Yeah. You have to make sure that's it true. grows. You have to make sure the business is successful. Well, but that's the thing. Like, you need to have realistic growth plans, right? Yeah. Like, like the Mason and Friends show, right? Like, we continue to try to make things better and try to figure out how to do this more efficiently and more things that we can do. You know what I mean? But, like, we don't have expectations. Yes. Like, I want to make this thing as professional as possible, but I don't expect that it's going to pay my bills one day. And see, Maybe yeah, it will one go. day, but maybe I'm not, will, I'm but not like, yeah. opposed to that. And yeah. that's like if I meet a girl, I like a girl, maybe I'll marry her one day. But like, I'm not like for or against that. I'm going to yeah. keep trying to do my best at it and put my best, my best foot forward every, every episode that I do with this show. I'm trying to make it as good as I can. Yeah. Right? And that's how I look at my interactions with every person that I interact yeah. with. Whether it's somebody I'm trying to bang or somebody I'm just trying to fucking yeah. sell a, a, a bag of Cheetos to. I don't, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? Who cares? Like, I'm just going to try to do even, good even still, so, and so, be honest. Still, you know, just like I know in a marriage, shit gets dull, shit stales. And you gotta talk about what that's the problem. That's any relationship. That's all though. all yeah, relationships that's, go yeah, through. That's that. anything. And that's the thing where you gotta keep reminding yourself and keep going through the process. Like, all right, the reason I was with this person, and why I got with this person, was because of what. And then you go on and you keep on and you build on top of whatever you, the foundation that you both have laid down already. And you just keep it going. You see it? Yeah. This is some friendship. Shit. I can't say it out loud. He showed me yesterday too. But do you see and something different it. in that situation? Just look at the lights on there. Uh, no, hold it how you had it. Just okay. look at that picture. <laughs> what, the hell? what in the hell are y'all talking about that we can't talk about on the show in the <laughs> middle of the motherfucking show? Know, in the middle of the show. That's some ignorant I'm shit, sorry. man. Right, what? I ain't gonna take that long. We'll go back to it. <laughs> what the but, so, Stop so interrupting. What are we talking we're about? We're done with NPR and bitches. <laughs> what are we talking about? How much time we got? Uh, <laughs> uh, 17 minutes. I don't know. Hold on. I was just guessing. Probably about 10. Ten minutes. Oh, what I got written down? I was close. I don't know. What do you got? So like, you're you're done. To, like suddenly, like you yeah, like you're yeah. like I'm out. I'm out. Turned it. off he on that. It. We kind of like stopped and we kind of moseyed off on just nothing. Well, we were putting purpose and principle behind. Yeah, we're talking saying. about like communication. We're trying to help you out here. See, there's your issue, dude. Uh-huh. Right there. You get in a relationship with somebody. And you're you're on the verge yeah. of making a breakthrough. You're on the verge of making an understanding. Yeah, and you're like, hey, man, what's on fucking, yeah, what's on Discovery yeah, Plus, yeah, man? Yeah. Is this, can I, can I, what, what's going on? on? It's Naked and Afraid. When's the new season of Naked and Afraid really start? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You really, yeah, yeah, really but I was, like, I thought, can you just right. fucking tell concentrate eyes on the fucking right. prize, man? Right. What are we fucking right. doing here, man? I don't know, because ten minutes ago, I thought y'all was undirecting that conversation towards me. I don't know. And, and I was over 
over because I wouldn't get no more additional information to my question. <laughs> I, was just, I was just here repeating, right? So I was just letting it rock. You know what I mean? No, I was just like, you know, because, you know, you know we, be, we be talking on this show a lot, you know? And sometimes, you know, what we're talking about. We were laying the groundwork to answer oh, your question. You, you forgot what the conversation I mean, was even on. I know. Like, I thought we that's were what happened. That, see, that's what happened. Like, so, all right. The comprehension. Right. The let's, comprehension. Let's, let's, let's close exactly. it out right now. Close it out. Right now. Everybody, here it is. Here it is. Right now. Your, here best, it is. your best chance. Final statement, final statement on the final subject. Statement. Everybody gets one. You better, you better you start good. reading books, man. You have your only good. hope in being able to understand women. And here comes by. You have to understand comprehension. You know what I mean? You got to <laughs> comprehend. You got to understand what's going on and how to use it. That's my take on it. Man, I don't have nothing to say. <laughs> I don't how know do you, what happened. How do you interpret and understand when, you, when it's, it could be a lie? Or how do you know when it's a lie and when it's true? That's my main question. The vibe, the actions. Well, uh, you, the vibe, why are you, you know, so suspicious that the everything words. that's stated could be a lie or not? I, I, why are you that actions. suspicious? But that's the subconscious telling them that something's wrong. That's just me being run through the fucking dirt and drunk grass it's gravel. I got to fuck. Hey, the snakes is everywhere, bro. I know. Snakes look, 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 hold on, hold on. Here you go. DTA, man. DT fucking A. Every shorty's going to be different. Stop Thank you. you. I know that's right. You can't treat them the same way. All of them I don't. I don't. I give them. I that's give what I'm the talking benefit about. of the doubt. But yeah, you're, you're not. not. But you're not. You're, you're not. like, yeah, I give you the benefit of the doubt. What'd you do last I night? I can't trust oh, that bitch. You know, me and my friend went and walked our dog. Yeah, you know, you your gotta suck with somebody. Yeah. Dick. Fucker. Whose dick was you I, sucking I, last night? I didn't night. feel like going out because I didn't feel good. Yeah, you didn't feel good because you swallowed all that goddamn dick before you ran out with me. You feel me? Exactly. What is wrong with you and your. Like it's more than just you can't yeah. trust. She don't want to go out, but then I see a picture of her Snapchat and all. No, but you know what it is. Your baby mama fucked your head up, dog. When she I left, I told you that. I know, but when she, but you don't recognize it in I your relationships that. that you're trying to have with people. You need to look at the people that you're trying to have a relationship with and recognize this bitch might not. Like, do all the fucked up shit that my baby mama did to me. If I'm in a relationship with her one day, she might just go, you know what, I don't want to be in this relationship but anymore. She to. might not be like, hey, look, I just moved somebody in, and now I'm fucking that person in your house. Get the fuck out. Like, you gotta how, is, how are you not fucked up? Of course you're fucked up. That is fucked up, yeah, dude. That's yeah. really, really, really fucked up. That's yeah, how motherfuckers, yeah. like, end up in the news. That's Scott yeah. Peterson Super territory, big dog. Big talk. That's how motherfuckers go. Come on fishing with me, bitch, so I can throw you off the side of this boat. Uh-huh. Like, that's how it shit is, happens. So, like, you are clearly not as dis- disabled mentally as you could be because you didn't do some fucked up exactly, shit yet. Yeah. So, exactly. you have to. <laughs> in your mind, you did all of it. Oh, yeah, in the mind, absolutely. He did all of it. I, I guarantee Twice. I concur with that one because I've been through the same shit. Yeah, like, now, dig her back up and do something else. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't work out one of the now, I, but never, that's I, the never, I never trust. killed a bitch in my sleep. Right, but you got to recognize your the damage that you, that you have that. and where it comes from. Oh, I know. I know that's where it all resorts. But, you have to, but you you're not have applying to. it to your relationships. You're not applying it to your life on the daily when you're interacting with these women. And trust is an earned meet. thing. Right. But, you know, but it's earned, but it's like you've got to give some to get yeah, some. Yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah. So you can't just be like, all right, well, I've known you for three days, so here, let me stick my dick in you with no rubber on. You know what oh, I mean? Because no, there's no, a level no, of no. trust yeah, yeah, there yeah, 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 that no. you're not to yet. And that's my whole point. Like, you'd like the level of trust. Like, I can trust you to tell me the truth until you clearly demonstrate to me that I can't. Yeah, exactly. And that's, like, the method that you need to apply instead yeah, of just, true. like, the expectation that this person's going to be fucking around on Cause, you. Because, hold on, you can expect everybody, <laughs> like, like Tyson said, you can expect everybody to be themselves. So, as long as that person is who they are... You you're like all right, cool. I already expect this shit to kind of happen. There, I don't. You don't put. You can't put expectations on a person. Uh-huh. No. Because and, if by you putting expectations on that person, you setting yourself up for failure. And and with that too, like one red flag in somebody else isn't necessary. That you saw and maybe somebody that hurt you, isn't all the red flags that they are gonna have. It might yeah. just be that one. Right. 
Right. And like, just and because I, this bitch, guilty a little bit. Just because I might see one flag and I'm like, oh my god, like mm -hmm. this other chick did that and it led to this. this. But it's it not could always be, the gateway for everybody. But it could else, be though. not even a real flag. It's some sort of subconscious thing where, like, the last yeah, the too. woman that broke my heart really caution. likes spicy chicken sandwiches at Chick Fil A, caution. and this woman really likes spicy chicken sandwiches at Chick Fil A. Yeah. Oh my god, this one's gonna break my heart Maybe too. The yellow, yeah. you know, I'll what say I mean? yellow light then, like yellow light caution more than no. But those are things that shouldn't even. That's what should even be. It shouldn't matter at all like the, just right. because the last bitch was like right. that you know it what i mean it, it could be something that simple but people try to act like yeah. any sort of major thing is something to, to like latch onto and point at like yeah. don't sweat that shit be like whatever like oh you like but you still got like go butter pecan ice cream yeah, like, i knew so a chick that liked gonna, butter pecan you're, ice you're cream once get yeah. burned out there when you try it is what it you're is gonna get burned and you just got chalk them l's up it's like a, a l is also a learning experience yeah it yeah, is what yeah, it is yeah you know you got you got to take those l's you got well, to but, that's, but that's also why you got to be like <laughs> really you got to come what, correct what and rocky keep it real the son at the end of the fucking last rocky that he did it's straight rocky he done me done you get knocked down by that how many times you get, up? get up? You That's get right. up That's right. every time and you fight back. Yes, it's going to knock you down. Yes, it's it's going. okay to be scared. It's like, okay. remember when Dan Daniel's son, okay, lose to self. <laughs> okay to lose opponent, must not <laughs> lose to self. It's terrible, Rocky. Hi, y'all. It's terrible. <laughs> but the message was clear. Yeah. You got to get up. Still you terrible. can't stay down down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen to this. Long is bigger problem. Finger popper. Oh wait a minute. No, that's Ferris Bueller. Uh -huh. I heard finger popping. I think that's what I heard. <laughs> Cameron, blink if you understand me. Cameron has never been in love. At least nobody's ever been in love with him. This is your part. If things don't change for him, he's gonna marry the first girl he lays. Which happened? Oh, whoa. And she's gonna treat him like shit. Which happened? Because she will have given him what he has built up in his mind. As the end all be all of human existence. Oh. She won't respect him. That's deep. Because you can't respect somebody who kisses your ass. Just doesn't work. Ferris? All right, there you go, man. That's <laughs> Ferris Bueller knowledge on the situation. You can't be like Cameron. Get you using your burp button, man. I'm telling you, man. Look at you're on the balls. You you just gotta keep coming consistent, bro. I need a drink, damn it. How much more time we got? <sighs> I've, I've been needing a drink. We've touched his feelings. We got to the feelings. That's why he's deflecting. Yeah, yeah he's like, oh, I need time to drink. <laughs> oh shit. I've been needing something, but I'm like, I can't get up mid conversation about myself and get a drink. Well, I mean, there is something it's to that. Man. You did you know start what? this, Wait a minute. and this is all about you right now. You know yeah. how you do fishing? Uh huh. You go fishing, you get yourself uh, prepared, you get yourself ready, you excited, you do all the work you got to do to uh, catch we, a fish. We hardly ever get prepared. We hardly ever get prepared. Well, that's we get prepared. how it is when you run into well, a, well, a well, woman. Well, Were you really prepared for this girl that now you're almost in love with? you put your lines out there, you catch and release. You know, ain't no hard love. You get Sometimes you get a good one, sometimes you got, you don't. It's definitely like fishing. Yeah. Then you get that one you want to keep, like the motherfucker you got on the wall right there. Ooh, bang bang. Not all bitches are bass savage. Ha, huh, ha. Huh. Oh, yeah. If you're not careful, you're going to... Yeah. Uh, rest, rest <laughs> in the... Damn. Rest in the... R.I.P. Right? Uh, yeah, bass savage. Bass savage. Bass savage. Yeah, R.I.P. bass savage, man. You were a good little fish there yeah, for a while. Yeah, it was a good fish. Now, look at... I say go make your drink and knock it down quick before the next episode. We got, they got he one more song he coming up. He, he can't, can't, he can't focus... You know, I'm gonna need another drink if, if by the time another episode starts because you know we got a four or seven minute. Because he's gonna, he's gonna, he's yeah, gonna least, buck the drink and then come back and, and buck that one. Because like I, I said, ain't got that much ginger. I'm about to go to the goddamn store, his man. Right now, I'll his tell you what. We're tapped. We I'll tapped tell you in. What. With that said, oh, we're gonna have to bring right this there. episode of the Mason and Friends show to a close. Hey, they said Coolio was a real gangster in the streets, though. Yeah, probably. Oh, you know he ain't playing with nobody. No, but I'm just but like when he was young, like he was yeah, gang gang on like for real. I was like oh. I never doubted it. Like, I didn't doubt that. I mean, but. the hair gave him the cred. Yeah, but, no, but I'm just saying, I was like, how humble and how he kept it. Like, I was like, okay. It's because he got out. Yeah. yeah. He didn't want to go back. But he did it right. So he kept like, it you right. know what I mean? He just kept it right. Exactly. See, and you, that's one that's more the, lesson, yeah. one more lesson uh -oh. for you. 
when you get it right, you play your cards it right. right. Yeah. So you don't yeah, go keep back. Keep it right. You yeah. know what I mean? Keep it right. Yeah, when it gets tight, keep it right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, with that said, uh-huh. I know that. I'm going to have to bring this episode so. of the Mason and Friends show to a close. Yeah. We'd like to thank you for sticking out with us on this yeah, ridiculousness. Uh-huh. Shit got crazy there for a this second. This is nuts. Uh-huh. <laughs> Going to give a big shout out to Coolio, R.I.P. Coolio. Coolio. Thank you for the good times. Yes, uh-huh. sir. And uh, anyway, be nice to people that look like you. Be nice to people that don't look like you. Don't be a dick. Uh-huh. A little bit yeah, everybody. Us, ladies and gentlemen, keep moving forward. That's right. And, uh, you know... Uh, Protect your energy. Protect your energy, your mental well, and your heart. Get therapy if you need yes. that shit. Watch out for your heart. Keep it real. Keep it honest. Compromise and comprehend. Don't be afraid we go. to end a relationship if you must. Yep. Today's words are compromise and comprehend. That's right. Brought to you by the letter A and the number twelve from the Mason and French. And the number oh, and Bill and Melinda. Bill and Melinda. Uh, Bill and Melinda, Melinda Gates. Gates. That's right. Don't yeah. forget. Yeah. You got it right the third time. The Mason third time and, got it right. Mason Public Radio was brought to you by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation as well as viewers Thank like you. you. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. We will, we will. Like, share, That's subscribe. That's all, folks. Don't yeah. bogart this bitch. We love NPR, Peace man. be with you. Peace. We love you very much. Shaka Rabra.